My Last Day on Earth base has had some big problems for a long time, and if you actually look at my base from a bird's eye view, it doesn't look like there's that many big problems, but if you go into the base, you could see that it's totally unorganized and there were a lot of issues affecting my gameplay experience. The three main things were hoarding, the structure and organization of my base, and the size of my base as well. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I addressed and fixed all of those problems, and I was actually able to eliminate seven racks of storage outside of my base, which will save me a lot of resources because my base can be a lot smaller now, and I don't have to worry about upgrading as much level 5 walls. So there was a reason behind doing all of this. So we're starting off here with number one, and the number one problem I had was hoarding, and this is the first thing I needed to take care of. Since I make YouTube videos, I thought that collecting a lot of these resources and maybe having them for upgrades later on, like maybe gold was going to be used for CPUs or something like that, was a good idea. But I just had stacks and stacks of all this stuff, and it was just taking up so much space. And so I finally had to bite the bullet, recycle some of it, and actually delete some of it as well, just to free up that space. The same thing went on with these guns. I just had a ton of low durability guns sitting around in storage and I needed to take these to the VIP zone and actually get a use case out of them. So I put them in the VIP repair bench and turned those guns that were just taking up space into things that I could actually use again. The same with all these PD cards. I just had stacks upon stacks of those brown cards and I figured I might as well just downsize because I wasn't turning them in at a fast enough rate and just uh, upgrade the level as well while I was at it. So now let's move on to number two, the structure and organization. After I finished off the hoarding and deleted a ton of items, recycled some as well, I needed to organize my base. As you can see, I had armor piercing guns, regular guns, explosives, and even melee weapons all categorized in the same chest, and this made organizing my base pretty difficult, and it actually took me over two hours to fully organize my base and get everything in the correct boxes and all that stuff. And even with the racks, I redid my color coding system to make it a little bit more faster to organize the base while I was live streaming. So let's move on to the last one, number three, the size of the base. After I'd fixed the hoarding and I fixed the organization, I realized that I had a lot of extra space available in my base, so I removed some of the racks and then I downsized the base. Now this might not make much sense right now because why would you delete all of these perfectly good walls? But going forward with level 5 walls, I do not want to be grinding forever to fully fortify my base, so downsizing was a very important step as I didn't want to always be working towards getting the ash, the titanium, and everything else that's involved in level 5 walls, and I actually shaved off a ton of the outside of my base. And like I said earlier, I was able to take out seven full racks of the storage to make the downsizing happen, and we could even move in Crumpy and Gilbert, as they were out in the cold before, and I can just move them out for a rack space if I want to in the end. So, let's take a look at the before and after. Now, my base didn't really like go through any major design changes. It still doesn't look that great, but inside, the storage is so much better. Things are categorized so much more. And before I head out here, I'd like to know what's going on with your base. Maybe there's some plans you have for it, some things you want to change, some things that maybe have been causing you difficulties there. What are your plans for maybe level 5 walls going forward? Be sure to sound off in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great day.